hello friends in this tutorial we're going to study how to perform the subtraction of two octal numbers without converting to any other base okay so we'll first see the first example that is we're going to subtract two numbers like six four in octal minus two five in octal we'll see the answer of this problem We'll write the the numbers given to us is six four in octal and two five in octal. We are going to perform the subtraction directly without converting to any other base. Now four minus five it is not possible. So we have to take one borrow from the next digit. So whenever we take borrow in octal number system, with it is equivalent to eight. Because we, if you see in decimal number system, we take borrow one borrow in that decimal number system was ten. One borrow is equal to ten because the base of the decimal number system was ten. Here the base of the number system is eight. That's why whenever we take one borrow from here, one borrow is equal to eight. Now this eight get added with this four. Eight get added with this four. So eight and four becomes twelve. Eight plus four is twelve. Twelve minus five. Now you perform twelve minus five. It is seven. We have given one borrow from here to here. It means one is subtracted. Now it is five. One borrow is given, so it is five. Five minus two. Perform five minus two. Five minus two becomes three. Therefore. We can say that six four octal minus. Two five octal is equal to three seven in octal. Is the answer for this problem. To understand again in a better way, we'll see one more example to perform the subtraction of two octal numbers directly without converting to any other base. The second example we are going to solve. One two three in octal minus six four in octal. You see the answer now. We'll write the digits given to us as it is. One two three in octal minus six four in octal. We are going to perform the subtraction here. Now first we'll do this. Three minus four. Three minus four is not possible. We'll take one borrow from here to here. In this step, one borrow is equals to eight. In this system, because the base of this number system is eight, one borrow is equals to eight. Eight plus three is becomes eleven. Eight plus three becomes eleven. Eleven minus four. Eleven minus four is seven. Eleven minus four is seven. We have taken one borrow from this digit. And we are given it to here. That's why it becomes one. Here it is one. One minus six is also not possible. One minus six is not possible. We will take one borrow from the next digit. One borrow here is equals to eight. Now here is one. One and this bar borrow taken. Eight plus one is nine. Nine minus six is three. Nine minus six is three. Now if you see here. We are given one borrow from this digit to this digit, so this one guess becomes zero. So the zero will be written as it is here. Therefore, we can say that one, two, three in octal minus six, four in octal is equals to three, seven in octal. We are discarded this zero because if you put zero in front of any digit, there is no change into the digit. Or that number. So this is the answer of, for this problem. One two three octal minus six four octal equals to three seven in octal. 